So uh, welcome to a prayer meeting. Um, tonight I want to share from the reading, that's supposed to be a highlighted part of the highlight reading for the uh, Bible plan. Uh, so tonight we're reading from uh, Joshua 1. And of course, you, if you've read your Bible, you know Joshua is the, um, this point in the Bible, Moses has died, and then that Joshua is now the leader for the uh, Israelites. Right? So then let's read. So after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' aid, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all these people get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I'm about to give them, uh, to the Israelites. Right? And so uh, God is just emphasizing and reemphasizing the fact that Moses is gone and that now Joshua is the, the new leader. And he's promising them, or he's telling them, well, you're going to go across the Jordan River. And he goes on. He says, I'll give you uh, every place where you set your foot. As I promised Moses, your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon and from the great river, the Euphrates, uh, all the Hittite country to the great sea on the west. Okay, and so this land, you know, he makes a, uh, makes a, a point that all this territory is going to be given then to Moses or to the um, Israelites, right? And keep going. No one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. And so he's, you know, God's promising all these things, right? He's going to be undefeated all the days of his life. And then he also promises that God's presence will be with him. Right? And then he goes on and he says, so knowing that's what you're supposed to do, he starts, he, God starts saying, well, there's some other things you need to know too in the midst of me telling you where to go. He says, be strong and courageous. Because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their forefathers to give to them. Okay, and so you'll see the same words repeated over and over again in, in, in 7 and 8, and I think in 9 too. Be strong and courageous. Right, and so be strong and courageous because he's going to lead the people uh, to inherit the land. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn to it, to, uh, turn from it to the l right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Okay. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you'll be prosperous and successful. Okay. And so God outlines a couple of different things here. Right. It says, be careful to obey. Do not turn to the left or right. So don't 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 change from what it says. You know, keep following it, even when it's difficult, even when it seems, you know, seems like it's not working. And not only that, he's, how is he supposed to read it or how is he supposed to do it? He's supposed to um, speak about it, right? Don't let it depart from your mouth. But we're supposed to be speaking on it, meditating on it, so thinking about it, and then you're supposed to do it, right? So that you may be careful to do everything in it. So if we were to highlight all the things, you know, to, to carefully obey God's word, to not go from the left or to the right. It means we have to talk about it, we got to think about it, and then we got to act on it. Right? That, that's the, the three, three parts of um, how do we can we be, how will we find success? Well, if we do those things and we follow God's word. And then he goes on in verse 9. says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord will be with you wherever you go. Right? He re-promises this idea of God's presence with him. Because he's telling him to to go, I'm I'm gonna do this and be strong and courageous as you do it. And so yeah, okay, God's promise. But uh, as we're thinking about this idea of new land, right? It's a it's a transition time for Joshua. They're outside the promised land. They've been 40 years in in the desert. Before that, you know, 340 years in in Egypt. And now Moses has died. Aaron has died. The only two who are of his generation, right, are Joshua and Caleb. And now he's saying there's a new, there's a new season of life. Right? You, you've been wandering around the desert for 40 years. Now we're changing that. You're going to go into the land. So there's all these changes that are coming. And so I think as I was pondering this, as I was thinking through this, there's always, these, there's always a new land for us, no matter how, how old or how young we are. 
right? And so here's some of the new lands, right? New season of life. Maybe it's a new endeavor, you know? New friends, you know, hopefully we have new friends, so we're, we're meeting new people, or new relationships. Um, maybe new roles, and for me, being the role of a caregiver for my father is totally new. It's like, oh, I've never done that before. Right, how do I navigate that? Um, new life situations. My daughter is a senior. She's going to go into college next. Whole new land, new, whole new life for her. Whole new life for Jahe and I and not my son because he's always had his sister around to play with him and to hang out with him and, and distract us from looking at him. So now we're like just staring, two, two sets of eyes on him. <laughs> so, you know, how do we, how do we navigate that? And I think in the midst of that, right, it's all these changes. No matter, you know, if we're younger, again, you know, that's my life stage. If, if we're older, that's other life stages. Health issues, there's, you know, your spouse, you know, your kids, worrying about your kids and how they're doing. And so there's always something that God is asking us to say, trust me, you know, be strong and courageous. Because it's very easy to try to run away from our problems and try to ignore them. Um, but this is what God, I think, God says to us in these new life circumstances we find ourselves in, no matter where we are. Right? Be strong and courageous. Um, continue doing all the things I've commanded. Because I am with you wherever you go. Right? That's, you know, God promises his presence with us. And not only that, he's shaping us to be like, more like Jesus. Right? That, that's something that God says in the book of Romans. He says, you know, creating us into the image of Christ. That he keeps shaping and molding us. We're not quite done yet until we're with him. And so in the midst of that, he's always shaping us and giving us new experiences, new understandings, maybe new understandings of who he is. A new opportunity to see how faithful he is. And ultimately, um, in the sense of how, no matter what happens in this life, you know, how things go, whether we think that it's going the way we sh it should or it goes very different from how we think, um, ultimately, we have to remember that we will be with God forever. That that's the ultimate promise, that we can't put our hopes in this world, that there are things in this world that just, you know, may not be made right until we see God. And in the midst of that, we still be strong and courageous. We still follow through on what his word says, on what he commands us to do. And as we do those things, then we get to see a, bit of a bigger picture of who God is. Um, he helps us understand him a little more. He helps us in those hard times. And, and uh, as we get to see who God is, then we can say, oh, I can trust him more. I can follow him more. And that's, that's a challenge. Right? If we don't be strong and courageous and we tr choose to go do things differently, um, we don't get to see that. We get rely on ourselves too much. We don't rely on God's power and strength, um, which is difficult, even even the life situations we find ourselves in. Sometimes we do feel it easier if we just didn't do it God's way. Um, but God says, if you want success, if you want to see all of the meaning in your life, you know, follow me. Do it, do it the way I'm saying you should do it. So that's my encouragement, especially, I think, the stage of life where we are as a church, um, stage of life for different people and different things. Um, so, yeah. Um, some of the uh, prayer requests that we have. So we have a leadership summit this Sunday and also governing board. So just, you know, pray for our leaders. And then there's a bunch of people who are traveling. Uh, Gilbert and Edith are traveling. Uh, they're, I think, going to South America, and then they're heading over to on a boat to Africa and up into Europe. 